but I can't tell. You got here just in time. My last Amazon box just arrived. Today I'm gonna be trying out Amazon's top rated dog accessories. I ordered about three or four hundred dollars worth of accessories. I'm gonna link them all in the description below. I'm also gonna be linking all of my favorite dog accessories so you can shop everything down below. So if you're here and you're new, you might as well subscribe to my channel. It's free and I do all kinds of weird content on this channel. I think it's time to go get Benji. Hi, are you ready for some new treats? Day, such a good boy. Okay, let's go. You could be a little more excited. I spent a couple hundred dollars. So I'm gonna break this down into three categories. The first category is going to be outdoor accessories. I'm also gonna be testing toys, and then I'm also gonna test bath time stuff. There's a lot here, clearly. I got a pair of dog goggles. It says protection, comfortability, style, UV protection. I honestly just got them because they look really cute and look good on Instagram. You know, I'm trying to build Benji's Instagram following, so. I also ordered this adorable little yellow doggy raincoat. I also got this. This is a doggy leash umbrella. Not really sure how it works. I'm not even really good at operating normal umbrellas. Seems like a very easy thing for most people, but for me, it's a challenge. And I got these adorable little dog shoes. I think there's like an app use for them, like protecting your dog. But I just think they look embarrassing and he's gonna hate it and I figured that would make for a good video. Yeah, they're water resistant. They have outsoles that provide flexible traction. Maybe I need a pair of these. All right, on to the water stuff. Is the water stuff or outdoor stuff? That's what I meant. Okay. Let's go! Are you excited? That's your old toy. We got new toys. Give me this, we got new toys. First step is the doggy raincoat. Actually, this is really good quality. Feels like a human raincoat quality. This is so cute. Oh, it has a little reflective strap so I can't lose you in the dark when it's raining because mom can't see when it rains and it's in the dark because she's supposed to be wearing glasses and she doesn't. Go tell my eye doctor. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, that was easier than I thought it would be. Show Jen. Show Jen, Shazzy. How do you feel, Benji? Come here. Come get it. Go get it. I don't know why he's being so good right now. He's never this good. He really likes it. Do you like it? Do you feel like you're on Paris Fashion Week runway? Oh no, you're not supposed to eat it. No, no, no. Okay, there are little pieces that he's gotten a hold of. Is he so cute? Or is he is he only cute because he like we know him, you know? Oh, he hates it. It's only gonna get worse from here, buddy. He's so confused. He's like, why am I in this plastic prison? You're doing great, sweetie. Next up, oh my gosh, these are way too thick for him. These are these little rough wear shoes. I always hate walking him in the middle of the day because the cement is too hot for his little paws. If you touch the cement with your skin and it's too hot for your skin, then it's too hot to walk your dog on. And I didn't know what size to get, so I just guessed. Even though they have a measuring apparatus on the website, I was too lazy to go like actually measure his foot, so I just bought a really big size. And I think they're too big, buddy. Oh, you like this though. But you want to eat it, not wear it. Mom wants you to wear it. Oh my gosh. These are legit like water shoes. Let me just get a little foot in there. Oh my gosh. These are so cute, you guys. <laughs> I feel like I should just title this video like torturing my dog for 20 minutes. We've only just begun. So are they too big or no? They're too big, but he doesn't know. They are kind of adjustable, even though they're way too big for him. Yeah, I'm gonna do a whole This is cruel, but I can't tell. I will say that the quality of these shoes are really good. Like these are nicer than any water shoes I've ever owned. And they should be because they're very expensive. But I do think it's good for dogs who are actually hiking and on trails and stuff so they don't get stuffed caught in their paws. Look at this, maybe I'll throw a treat. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, we lost one. I guess it is important to get one that fits. This look is not quite complete though. This is gonna help you when you're out on the road and you wanna stick your little head outside and you don't wanna get bugs in your eyes. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. That actually fits my head. Okay, right here, right here, right here. Oh, oh, almost. Okay. It's gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. This is gonna help you look pretty and it's gonna be functional. How to fit this on his little head. This was highly rated, but 
This is big enough to fit my head, so I don't really know if this is gonna actually fit him. Their head isn't like ours, you know, kinda like slopes in the back. Doesn't really have any directions on it. Ugh. Okay, this isn't gonna work. It's really depressing, because I love it so much. Maybe I can wear it. Does it look cute on me? This next gadget requires a leash. When you become a dog mom, you realize that your whole life is covered in straps. There's like a strap for everything. This looks like it was not well made. I'm starting to lose blood and circulation to my head. This is a leash umbrella. It's designed to keep your dog dry from the rain. It attaches. And I think you needed a bigger umbrella. This is like a half hour prep to get your dog to go out when it's raining. <laughs> oh, uh, don't break it. Mommy has to send it back to Amazon because she spent too much money. Let's go. We're walking in the rain. Singing in the rain. I don't want to do feeling. I'm Is he cute or what? He's so cute. Of all four of these accessories, I would probably would buy the shoes just because I do know that dogs have real issues with their paws getting chapped. I love the raincoat. I could live without the umbrella and I could live without the goggles because I don't really know how those work. Are you ready for toys? He's like, I'm literally ready for anything else. <laughs> to the toy round. Benji is very excited. He's like, I don't know what it is, but I want to eat it. Same. I ordered this Chuck It Frisbee. It was highly rated, obviously, at Amazon. And they had different shapes and sizes. This is their Paraflight Large. Actually, I think it might be too large for Benji. I'm not really sure if I'm good at Frisbee. Okay, he got it. He got it. Okay, well, I have to throw it for you to catch it. Benji! I like that this is kind of spongy and soft, although I do feel like Benji might tear through this in time. Okay, so we can see there are a couple of design flaws. I think Benji's a little too small for such a big thing. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, he's starting to get the hang of it. I think there was a little bit of a learning curve there. Matt wanted to get a Frisbee to play with Benji. I actually think a harder Frisbee would be better. Because this is so soft, it's hard for him to like, get his mouth around it. I think he really does like it. So this next toy is the Pooch Selfie. Easily clips on your smartphone so that your dog actually looks at the camera when you want them to. Because it is so hard, guys. Getting your dog to become a dog model, and I can never get him to look at the camera. He likes to look away from me. I think he's a little camera shy, so hopefully this will help because he loves the tennis balls. So oh, I guess I could shoot both ways, actually. I thought it would cover the back camera, but it doesn't. It's really tight on there. Oh, it works! Look here, right here. Look, like it literally looks like he's looking right into the camera. Do you see that? It literally looks like he's looking right into it. Let's take a selfie. Come on. Okay, so the selfie part of this is quite challenging. Come on. And you know, this is my phone. This is a thousand dollar phone. Maybe you shouldn't attach a dog toy to it, but it does work. I think we got one, but it's not the cutest angle. Wait, that's so cute. The second toy that I really wanted to get Benji was a ball machine where he could put the ball in and it would shoot it out for him because I'm just tired. I'm tired of chasing balls around, you know what I mean? I really need some assistance. These machines, by the way, are very expensive. They're in like the $100 to $200 range. This one was the cheapest one that I could find with the best reviews on it. The only thing that I don't love about this is that the balls are really small. Benji is getting a little too big for such a small ball machine. I don't really know if this is safe for him, but if you have little dogs, this might be a really good option for you. I go here. Ah, good! Okay, I'm gonna give it back. Let's try one more time, come on. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to teach them to actually put the ball in themselves so that they can entertain themselves. But Benji just wants to be alone. Benji, I know you love it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be chasing balls the rest of my life. So the next thing that I bought is this little hide a treat mat that kind of looks like a rug, but it's designed for you to hide treats and food in it, in the crevices of it all, for your dog to like spend a lot of 
mental energy trying to find the treats hidden inside of it. Also, these are really great supposedly for dogs who eat too fast and it causes them to have like indigestion or something. It slows them down. Look away, it's the hiding Easter eggs. I would imagine this gets dirty pretty easily. It does say you can wash it in your um, washing machine, so it. It's an Easter egg hunt. Come on, right here. I feel like this is gonna get really like slobbery and dirty pretty quickly. This is also like a very time consuming thing to hide all of these treats every time he uses it. Apparently they say that dogs, they need a lot of mental stimulation as much as they need physical stimulation and stuff like this actually helps them. That looks like a sea creature, like something you would find in Australia. You know how Australia has like the weirdest animal life? Welcome to my guest bathroom. The master bathroom is disgusting. Otherwise, we'd be in there. We're in the bath. Benji loves water. He loves the bath. I decided I would buy one of these pet grooming gloves that apparently like gets all of the hair off easily in the bath. Benji sheds all over the place. I feel exhausted because I vacuum almost every day. So hopefully this will help. I've heard a lot of really great things about it. The other bath toy I'm gonna be testing out is this microfiber little, it's like kind of like the raincoat except a towel. Not only is it microfiber and it supposedly like really dries them pretty quickly. When Benji gets out of the water, he shakes water everywhere. So I think this might actually help from water getting all over my bathroom. This is also in there. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's to make mom look cute. Benzie, Benzie, mom brain. Benji's all set it up. I'm just gonna be real. I think this might work with some dogs, but I'm a little worried because Benji has like multiple layers of hair and these don't seem very deep. I have a bad feeling, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot, buddy. Oh, is that nice, Benji? Wow, this looks pretty heavy duty, actually. I don't really see much hair yet, but I feel like Benji's getting a good massage. Benji, how does it feel? Tell the people. Benji's got his water cup. He's ready for a drink. There is some hair on there. I don't know if you can even really see very much of it. I just don't know if this is the most helpful. Ah! Give me a little bit of hair. Can you see it? Oh, really? It's just like minimal. In some areas I feel like are, I'm getting more than others. I'm starting to see a little progress here. I think during extreme shedding seasons, I know Benji's gone through seasons where he sheds a lot. Maybe this helps more. Okay, now that I've fully washed my dog. Do you have fun? Okay, I'm going to test out the biker fiber towel and see how well it actually dries him. We have to go, buddy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Benji, I need we have more things to test. <laughs> I need your help. We have to go. <sighs> Took an act of God. Right here. Hold on. Oh, he's already onto the drying of the face. Not the squatty potty. <laughs> okay, this is the hardest part. All right. It has a little thing on it. That's the toilet. Can we just like maybe move to the next room? Okay. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Come on, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I think that helped, actually. There's a little button back here that I think you can like, oh, I see. Oh, you wrap it around his little tail. It has a little button, that way it stays on. Benji, this is so cool. Let's go, buddy. Come on. I need you, I need your spiritual counsel here, Sir Monk. Pray for me. Okay, no. With the shaking of the water, getting dog water everywhere, this really works. The mitt, maybe not so much, but this, this is really helpful. I think he likes this episode. Okay, this was a success for us. I feel like we had some clear winners and a couple losers. But honestly, even the things that were losers for us, I think just don't really work for Benji or my lifestyle. Like, I'm never gonna put on an umbrella to take him walking. Dude, I'm gonna need you to take it down a notch so I can get out of this video. If you guys wanna buy any of these items, I'll link to them in the description box below. Hey, go get it. If you guys have any suggestions of your favorite things off of Amazon, 
let me know. I am ready to spend more money on the best products for this cutie patootie. Don't forget to go follow Benji on Instagram. Benji with the good hair, two eyes. <clears throat> I guess he's taking a pee right now. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. What else would you like to see me do on this channel? Would you like to see more of Benji? Like this video, thumbs it up. Subscribe, I almost forgot. Hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I guess that's it. I usually throw something at the camera. Jen, are you ready? Cuteness this is montage. Yeah.